Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a Mark 5 Golf GTI. She's a two liter FSI BWA engine code. We have a DSG gearbox inside in it. And what I'm doing today, it's quite simple, quite easy, but just sometimes you like us all, I'd get caught on them. I wouldn't know the procedure. What I'm actually doing is just trying to check and see if the oil level in the gearbox is high enough and run through the procedure on how to do this, okay? So guys, at this point in time, the car is running and I have the drain plug taken out of it and I don't have any oil coming out of this hole. So we're gonna get it and we're gonna pump some oil back up into it. Okay. Because I don't know how much oil is gonna go up. And into this thing, I'm just using a little siphon and a syringe we have here that we use for gear oil. Um, we're using dual clutch oil for it. And I'm just gonna put in one of these, start it, run it, see what happens, see what we get oil dribbling out. It should be actually, when you start it and it's below 40 degrees, it should actually be trickling back out the actual drain plug, okay? So it should be trickling just drip, drip nearly, rather than a, a kind of a trickle. So I'm gonna put in one of these, start it, run it, um, what they do suggest is, and they want you to do, is it has to be below 40 degrees. The, the ambient temperature, or the, the actual temperature that they want is around 35 degrees. So it should be below 40 degrees. If you don't have any way of figuring out if the gearbox is, the oil is hot or cold or not. What I did notice this morning, when I started and I was getting the temperature of it, I started, it was at 11 degrees, it's April. It's not that, um, that cold or that warm. I suppose about seven, eight degrees. Um, ambient air. The oil temperature was at 11. I started it, I left it idle for maybe three or four minutes, five minutes, and at that point, it was starting to get warm. They do, I think, like it between 30 and 40. That's the, the, the gap for where the oil temperature should be. So if I was giving anyone a tip, start it, run it for three or four or five minutes, and if you don't have scan tools, and then check to see. Car, car running, pull the sun plug out, and as you'll see, we have no oil. With the little level sleeve that's up in the gearbox, I didn't take it out. And at this point, as I said there, I have the, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I'm actually pushing oil back up and into that now so you can see where the level. Okay. So now I'm just at to put in the fill of this, which is, I'm trying to actually see if I wanted accuracy. Is it quart? Yeah. I don't know. Is it? I haven't a clue. But anyway, the size of that syringe wouldn't be that big, but I'm lost on the size of it. Okay guys, I've just started and ran it. I probably spilled a little bit, so I have one or so drops, or a few drops coming out of But I'm gonna put in another one of these. Okay, it's not coming back out the hole, so I'm gonna go. Okay guys, I put in another one of these, so I put in a third one of these, and you can see it now, it's slowly, trickling away back out. I believe it should be a bit slower than that. So I'm gonna stay recording until this dribble eases off and it comes back to kind of a, a drip, 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 okay? So we're kind of overfilling it and then coming back to where we should be actually starting to stop dripping out now. I'm nearly, I'm nearly happy at that point. You can see, drop. We will get, can get a surge every couple of seconds, they say, from a pump inside it, but it's starting to triple away now, so it'll stall again until maybe this thing slows down and then stops. The next time I see it to stop, I'm gonna probably go along, put in the sump plug, okay? Like every 30 seconds, they say, you can get a little spurge from a pump or so, but you can see it stopped. And at this point, I'm gonna put back in my sump plug, okay? So only a little fast pointer on how we're going to actually, or how we feel or check the level on that. I better make sure that I'm not going to, to get it, I'll make sure that I don't leave the sump plug loose or the drain plug or fill plug uh, loose, but it's only kind of a fast pointer on these DSG boxes of how to fill the box, okay? Not too hot, not too cold, below between 30 and 40 degrees, and when it's running in park, fill up here. All I'm showing is about a topping up, not a changing of the oil, not a changing of the filters or 
any of that crack. There's a procedure to run through to put into gears for a couple of seconds if you've changed the oil. Um, and I believe they take around four to four and a half litres of oil from empty drain to fill. New gearbox, our new transmission being fitted, I think is around seven litres, right? Guys, hope this helped you some bit. And if, you, if it does, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.